In the second set of notes in section 8.5, we'll be working through some example problems regarding the three theorems that we discussed earlier. For each problem, I want you to think about which theorem applies. Let's start with the first example. We're given that these segments, DE and BC, are parallel, which means that we have a line that's parallel to one side of the triangle, and it's intersecting the other two sides of the triangle which means that we're going to be using the side splitter theorem. And we know as a result that that line is going to divide those two sides proportionally. So we can say that the ratio of AD to DB is equal to the ratio of AE to EC, which means that 2 to 4 is equal to 3 to X. In order to solve that proportion, we'll cross multiply, and we end up getting X is 6. For part two of the problem, we want to find the value of y. Now, if we look at our diagram, y is not located on one of those sides, but rather it's that third side of the triangle. In this case here, it's at the bottom. So we cannot use side splitter to set up a proportion, but rather we have to work with those parallel line segments, and as a result, we can get similar triangles because these corresponding angles that I'm highlighting here are congruent, which means that that smaller orange triangle is similar to the larger blue triangle. So let's go ahead and set up some proportions working with those similar triangles. So I'm going to take one side of the smaller orange triangle, in this case here, 2. 2 corresponds to this large side, AB, of the blue triangle, which has a length of 6. And we're going to set that equal to the base of the smaller triangle, the bottom side, which is 4 to the bottom side that corresponds to it in the larger blue triangle, which is y. So when we cross multiply there, we end up getting that y has a value of 12. For the second example, we are working with three or more parallel lines. Okay, So we have exactly three parallel lines, and they're intersected by two transversals. So that means that we're using the three or more parallel lines theorem, and therefore, we know that the transversals are going to be divided proportionally. And since we see ratio there, we should be putting in our x's. And we also know that EH, that yellow segment, has a length of 30. Okay, we want to find EF, FG, and GH, though. And since those parallel lines divide the transversals proportionally, we can say that just like AB, BC, and CD, those are in a ratio of 7 to 3 to 5, those segments. So we could set up a, an equation adding them all up to 30. We get that X has a value of 2, and then we could substitute that back in to find the lengths of each of those segments. And finally, for our third example, what we have here is we have an angle being bisected. So we should be thinking about the angle bisector theorem, which states that that ray is going to divide the opposite side into segments that are proportional to the adjacent sides. So we can set up the proportion x to 2 is equal to 6 to 4. Cross multiplying there, we get that x has a value of 3. For examples 4, 5, and 6, I'd like you to try these on your own. Please make sure you list what theorem you've used, show all of your work to solve, and then once you're ready to compare your answers with mine, you can hit play again. For example 4, we should be working with side splitter. You should have set up a proportion similar to that one. And you should get that x has a value of 2 thirds. For example 5, we're using the three or more parallel lines theorem. You should set up your proportion like this, and you should get that x has a value of 44 thirds when you reduce that fraction. And finally, for number 6, we have an angle that is being bisected, so we can use the angle bisector theorem, and you could set up this proportion here. Don't forget that when you cross multiply, you're distributing. So when you do that, you get that x has a value of 3.